Hi, Kevin Henry, the Group Editorial Director for Advanced Star, Dental Products Report, and Modern Hygienist. And I'm on a Google Hangout today with America's Dental Hygienist, Anastasia Turchetta. Hey, Anastasia. Hey, Kevin. How's it going? It's going great. I thought of you, actually, because Colorado was in the news this week. Well, and that's why we're talking. I mean, you know, exactly. not that we always talk, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, I live in the Denver area, and absolutely, this past week there was a big story on some of the local stations here about microbeads getting into the water supply and some of the effect that that was having. And Anastasia, what's the dental connection here? You know, I was really surprised too because when I saw that I thought of you and Dana and I was like, what in the world? So the connection in the dental industry first is the microbeads. And I had a dental hygienist actually um, send me a private message, so I put it out to our hygiene you know, networks on Facebook. And here's the deal, you know, a microbead, the definition is anything that's a plastic piece that's less than five millimeters. But they're also in our personal care products. So, I mean, I've used, used them in my facial scrubs or anything like that, and they're in our toothpaste. And that definition is anything that's less than one millimeter. But here's the concern with Colorado is most water treatment facilities, they can't catch these microbeads. So they're going into the rivers and, you know, polluting whatever lives in the river. So that part of it, you know, is it doesn't apply to dentistry, but it's definitely something to think about. However, we've got it in our toothpaste, and some of us may have seen little blue particles on our patient's gum or around the gum line. And that's pretty much a concern because they're not biodegradable. Yeah, let's turn that toward the hygienist here, and let's talk about, uh, you know, you're seeing those little blue particles. What are some of the, the bad things, the warning signs that you want to talk to other hygienists about? Well, first, I think it's really important that we know the ingredients. And the ingredient in the toothpaste, I got to cheat here and actually look at it, is PE, which is polyethylene. So polyethylene is one thing to look for. Another thing you may see, maybe not so much in toothpaste, but it's PP, and that is polypropylene. So those are the two main ingredients. And they're, they're basically, they're plastic that we use in jugs and containers and bottles and all kinds of things that we can't you know, obviously get rid of or crush. So for the hygienist, you know, I mean, you have the potential for some of these microbeads to just sit in the sulcus and kind of lay low. It's one thing that you have one in there, but if you have somebody with poor oral hygiene or maybe they just really can't get into the sulcus to clean it properly, a perio patient or maybe our aging patients, something to consider because this is going to cause some irritation. Bacteria is going to love this stuff. So Anastasia, I know there's really four key takeaways that you want our viewer to get from this, and what are those? Well, the four key takeaways would be number one is know the ingredients. So know what you're looking for to read, and that would be PE, polyethylene. Number two, it would be to, you know, read the ingredients. So encourage, I encourage our professionals, I encourage, you know, dentists and consumers and whoever we can, make sure they always read what are you placing in your mouth. That's really important. Number three would be know that you can take this back. The reason is, I mean, if you just purchase this and you're, you're reading this or you're hearing about this, know that you can take that toothpaste back to the retailer. And number four, continue to inform people about this. Let's face it, Kevin, we know <laughs> you may have these things discontinued in the future, but somewhere online or in some store, they're going to be available. So continue to inform the patient of reading these ingredients and you know, making sure they're not placing them in their mouth. Anastasia, as always, you're on the cutting edge, and uh, I always enjoy our chats. And uh, thank the way you, Kevin. Readers, absolutely. So, thanks, and uh, hey, have a great day. You too, now.